Hey everybody, it's Matt from You and Your Horror Movies, and welcome to my end of the month haul. I have a bunch of DVDs, Blu-rays, and some collectibles to show off. Uh, first, this month wasn't that strong, but it actually, from looking at the stacks, came out pretty well. So I was very happy to get uh, some goodies for you. Uh, I'll do some of the collectibles first, then we'll move into the films. Uh, first, my wife actually bought me one of these, which I think is awesome. This is the Bride of Frankenstein bust slash bank. Yes, it's a bank. Uh, these things are very well detailed. Uh, not much of articulation or anything, but they just look sick. Look, look at her face. It's beautiful. So yeah, Bride of Frankenstein bank. So awesome. Uh, from, I don't know if you're familiar with uh, Tara for Tom and Eric from the Horror Man Cave. Well, they... Tom did a figure, and Eric did the resin on it, and I was very happy because I ordered one from them. And uh, I'm not gonna, I may paint it, I don't know. So I don't even know what kind of paint to get. That's the thing, because I don't want to ruin it. And this is this blob-like figure. As you can see, this is B-L-O-B, and it's a guy getting melted. Um, the lighting is not the greatest in this room, but it's what I have. <laughs> Here's his face being all dissolved. This thing is sick looking. Don't have any blob-like characters. So this was pretty awesome to get. So thank you, Tom. Thank you, Eric. Beautiful. And also Eric sent me, with my package, this little uh, clear leprechaun figure. Yes, <clears throat> he looks awesome all clear. Uh, you don't see much with the leprechaun uh, figures. So if I just put my hand over there you can see it is this green translucent figure very well done very well uh, the artwork is fantastic on it I just like the green too because he's Irish <laughs> now for some other figures <clears throat> and collectibles uh, of course November as soon as November first hits you gotta hit the Halloween store because some of them sell their shit dirt cheap and it's well worth grabbing it for 75% off or whatnot. I saw this and I just had to grab it. It is a Frankenstein, uh, like a light pretty much, but it's carved in a pumpkin. So it's got a Frankenstein head on it. And what it also is cool is it lights up and it flickers. I couldn't resist, I had to buy this. There was like a ghost one. I bought my wife a witch one, and it was a fourth one, which didn't look so well. But Frankenstein had to grab it. It was awesome. We'll definitely have this on the shelf. So cool. That's why I love going to buy some stuff at Halloween stores. Uh, and also, I picked up on eBay because I wanted to grab one. I don't know if you're familiar with the game uh, Horror Clicks, but I grabbed this figure because it just looked awesome. And it's called the Giant Amoeba. But it's a blob figure because they can't use specific words because everything's all copyrighted and everything. So they called it the giant amoeba. <laughs> it's a disc kind of like hero clicks that you would turn and everything to get the stats on the base. This thing is really solid, like very heavy. I was kind of shocked. But it's got this cool translucent green and it's devouring a kid. So how cool is that? The Giant Amoeba from Horror Clicks. I got a couple of them. I got like a Friday the 13th and a Jason one. But that was the standalone figure I had to grab. Also grabbed some horror soundtracks. I love my soundtracks. Grabbed uh, from Dust Till Dawn. Of course the case got damaged. But uh, Tales from the Dark Side, Demon Knight. I was so happy. Uh, I Know What You Did Last Summer. Got some good songs to it guys from the 90s. Finally got my hands on one, and that is the Rocktober Blood soundtrack. This is a legit soundtrack. It was only on vinyl for a little while, and just went out of print. Very hard, very rare to find if you had the original vinyl. Uh, this company decided to put out from Lunas Records, and they actually re-released this on CD, cassette tape, and vinyl again. Which is cool, is it has this one song called I'm Back. It's the main song from the movie. They even put it backwards like it was played on a vinyl, which is pretty sick. So it's all weird. But Rocktober Blood, another rock and roll 80s, had to have it for the soundtrack. 
And of course, I got finally Fright Night. Um, this was supposed to be, there was only a certain number supposed to be signed by Tom Holland. Unfortunately, I didn't get a signed copy, but I'm very happy to finally have Fright Night came in today. All right, guys, let's get with the DVDs and the Blu rays. I know you're dying to see these. All right, first off with the DVDs, we have Pterodactyl. <laughs> yes, this is a spoof. I don't know if it's a uh, sci fi channel or not. I don't think it is. But it's a horror comedy to deal with killer pterodactyls from outer space. It was a lot of fun. I definitely recommend checking this one out. It's got some CGI and some uh, puppetry to it. So, Pterodactyl. Uh, good old sci fi channel. Damn sharks. <laughs> yes. Sharks that eat people and make dams out of them. I don't know where they come up with this, but it's got a cool little shiny uh, slip cover. But it's just goofy fun. I was watching it and I was laughing how stupid this movie is. So yeah, damn sharks. Uh, I also picked up from Walmart, uh, Happy Birthday. This has, uh, oh, what's his face in it? Um, oh, Steven Tyler. Uh, one of my friends recommended this to me. He told me this was pretty good. So I wanted to pick it up. Pretty much like they celebrate a birthday, but they get drugged and uh, they're brought in front of a Mexican cartel and tortured by these drug lords, these two friends. I'll give it a shot. <clears throat> Picked up uh, Clown Town. I uh, don't know anything about it. Let me know if you've seen it. Uh, it looks pretty cool. Of course, with the whole clown thing going on, I said, yeah, grab it pretty cheap from Wally World. I also grabbed this for five bucks. It's called They Crawl. This is a nine movie compilation. I already have They Crawl on the single release, which is about a killer cockroach film. But some of these films are just hysterical. Um, there's one called Zombieek. A satanic ritual gone wrong leaves a chicken possessed by the devil and ready to wreak havoc in a group of rednecks. Come on! I had to grab it just for that title alone. It's also got uh, Lissa and the Lorlock, Dogman, Attack of the Giant Land, Giant Leeches, the, the original, Embryo, The Craving Horrors of Spider Island, which is a uh, black and white. I'm going to answer that one for a bit. Night Shadow and Croc. I know Croc is a killer gator flick. But I was looking up that zombie and you can't get anywhere in the U.S. Uh, you only can get it from like uh, overseas. So yeah, I had to grab it just for a couple of those titles alone. <laughs> Why not? If you've seen any of them, let me know. I uh, picked up Yeti. This is a sci-fi channel from the Man Eater series. Bunch of college uh, football players crash land on a mountaintop in the uh, Himalayas. And of course they had to fight a couple of Yetis. Fun flick. Got some good blood to it. Some good, uh, some good practical effects and some bad CGI. But other than that, it's oh, it's an okay film. Uh, Full Moon was having their uh, Halloween sale, so I grabbed. It came in November. One DVD and one Blu-ray. The one DVD I grabbed was Hollywood Horror House. Uh, this looks pretty batshit crazy. If anybody's seen this one, let me know. Uh, this was very cheap. It was only six dollars and sixty-six cents. And it was a new release. And a lot of times their new releases don't go on sale. So I waited a little bit and had to grab it. Next on the DVDs is called Pinkman's Muse. This is an HP Lovecraft film. I still have to get this one to watch, but this looks pretty batshit crazy. About uh, people going nuts and do with obsession and everything. So yeah, if you've seen it, let me know. Uh, this one I have seen. It's called Undead or Alive. Yes, Chris Kattan and uh, James Denton in a zombie zombie comedy western film. Yes, it's the Zomcom Western. Uh, actually, wasn't bad. I liked some of the acting, some of the good kills to it. It wasn't bad. Chris Kattan plays a weird, goofy character, but it, the, the zombies look pretty badass. So yeah, Undead or Alive, Western Zomcom. Yeah. <laughs> Never thought I would say that. Uh, next, got some pawn shop pickups, which I can't believe I found at a pawn shop. One was Cutting Class with uh, 
Brad Pitt. It's a fun slasher. Highly recommend it. So yeah, cutting class. I paid like a buck for it. Next is Hard Candy. This was actually really decent. Uh, this girl pretty much torments this uh, sexual predator. Awesome flick. Uh, from the pawn shop, I picked up Hellion. I guess this is like a good killer uh, plant type film with some uh, demons and other shit going on. So I want to give it a watch. I could never find it cheap anywhere on Amazon. But I found this for a buck at uh, at a pawn shop. It's like, okay. And I picked up Flowers in the Attic. This is the Hallmark one, I think it is. I think this was on Hallmark. This has uh, Heather Graham and Elizabeth Bernstein in it. So this is a remake of the original. So yeah. And of course, Wild Eye sent me some films to review. <laughs> uh, the first one is called Sin. Self-induced nightmares. I actually reviewed this on body bags. So please check out the body bags review. It is a horror anthology It's got some weird like a weird slasher a killer teddy bear um, some guy that's got has His girlfriend's cheating on him with his boss and he's wheelbarrow child and it's just weird and the other one happens to be a Like a, a date gone wrong. So it's actually not bad. Uh, they sent me The Exorcist, The Fallen. Don't know anything about it, so I'll give that one a watch. Killerosaurus. Gotta get this one watched. Pretty looks weird. Like another killer dinosaur flick. And they sent me uh, Tales of Poe. Uh, some stories based on Edgar Allan Poe. Uh, the Telltale Heart, Cast of Amontillado, and Dreams. So, yeah. Gotta give that one a watch at some point soon. I always like Edgar Allan Poe stuff. Alright, let's get on with the blues. Uh, Amazon had a great deal for Black Friday. I picked up the original Purge for $4.99, the DVD and the Blu-ray copy. I was like, okay. And they had the Purge Anarchy for like $6.99. I jumped on those because I wanted the Purge 3. And I saw the price for the Purge one. I'm like, why the hell why not have all three of them? Purge was okay, nothing crazy. Best Buy had The Conjuring 2 for $6.99. Just came in the mail today. Very happy to snag it. Uh, Severin had their sale for Black Friday. So I picked up Axe and the Kidnap Co-Ed double feature. Uh, they gave you all free DVDs. Unfortunately, they gave me hardware, which I had on DVD on Blu-ray. So one of my friends is uh, getting that. So, yeah. So I got that double feature. Jumped on a Twilight Times because this one was, I think, nine bucks. Audrey Rose. So I was very happy to snag that. And this was like six dollars. So I picked up the other. I've heard some good things about this killer kid movie. So yeah. Uh, good old Code Red got the Sasquatch and Encounters of uh, Counters with the Unknown uh, double feature. This looks like a cool uh, horror anthology. So I gotta give them a watch. And Sasquatch is more like a uh, like a horror documentary, like a fake documentary. So yeah, Code Red put out this double feature. So yeah, very happy to have that in the collection. Age of Dinosaurs, <laughs> bad uh, asylum sci-fi Jurassic Park ripoff. I did a review on this on Body Bags. It's all right. Did take advantage of the Criterion sale at Barnes and Noble, so I picked up. Uh, Kuriniko. It's supposed to be an Asian ghost film. So yeah. And I picked up uh, Quaden. It's another uh, Asian horror. So yeah. So I've got some Criterions. Uh, Andy the Retro Slasher sent me Thinner. I sent him a, a Pet Cemetery a while back. So he sent me a Thinner. So it's an up upgrade. Thank you Andy. Had to grab it. I drink your blood. And of course I got the Needle. <laughs> I love this kid's face. Uh, I have never seen I Drink Your Blood, so I can't wait to get this one to watch. Uh, I heard this is batshit crazy, so yeah, can't wait to watch that film. Another, I said from Full Moon, they had their sale. The Blu ray I picked up was The Lurking Fear. Uh, again, this movie was never on sale from the past, it was always expensive, it's like it was $24.99 all the time. On their sale, $9.99, so I snagged Lurking Fear. Looks pretty cool. 
Finally picked up uh, Day Watch. I've had Night Watch forever. I just never grabbed the sequel, so now I finally got the sequel to Night Watch. Day Watch was awesome. Snagged uh, Day of the Triffids. This is the BBC 2015 uh, remake. This one is more like the book, I've heard. Also, there is a BBC TV series based on it from the 90s. It's a little harder to find, but I want to grab this version too as well. So I was very finally happy to snag it. If you've seen it, guys, let me know if this mini series is worth it, even though I'm still going to keep it in the collection. <laughs> finally grabbed Salem's Lot. I've been it's the last one of the Stephen King ones I needed. So finally found it online for the right price. Grabbed it. <laughs> Thanks for Terror for Tom. I didn't know this had a Blu-ray. And that's iBorgs. This is a sci-fi channel. Killer robot slash espionage type film. Where the robots are broadcasting the wrong type of uh, news for people. And of course these robots go on a killing spree. Not bad flick. I actually liked iBorgs. Uh, Best Buy had these cheap. I picked up Monsters uh, Dark Continent. I had the first one, never saw the second, so I decided to pick that up. And also Knock Knock with Keanu Reeves. This is, I think, four bucks at Best Buy new, so I said, why not? And I got two steel books. I had to grab them. Um, one was an upgrade, one is more like a side grade. But picked up the It Follows uh, steel book. I have this already on Blu-ray, but this just looks gorgeous. The way uh, this movie looks with the uh, the steel book. So that's the back, then that's the front. Pretty awesome. And I did not know this had a steel book, so I picked it up since I had the DVD, so it's a big upgrade. And then it's Young Frankenstein. Uh, this was cheap at Best Buy as well. They had a huge steel book uh, collection there, so I picked up Young Frankenstein. Love it. All right, guys. That is my end of the month haul for November of 2016. I hope you enjoyed my uh, update. Let me know what you think down below in the comments. Alright guys, have yourself a good one and stay warm. Peace.